Is that what you're saying? That, that you accept my proposal? I haven't changed my mind either. What? I know I'm going to regret this. My answer is no. And I, I don't understand. Ethan, you and I have been a couple since we were old enough to date. Our mothers planned our wedding years ago. I've never been with another man. It, it never occurred to me that you might be with another woman. Look, if you're talking about Teresa again... I am. You may not see it, Ethan, but I do very clearly. And until you can make me believe that no one's going to come between us, no matter how innocent she may seem, I have to say no. I will not marry you. This is crazy. No one is coming between us. Maybe I am crazy. I didn't say you were crazy. No, I did. Ethan, I love you, and I want to marry you. But I want you to feel the way I feel. I want you to miss me when I'm not around. I want you to propose to me because you can't bear the thought of living without me. You can't propose because it's what our families expect or just because you want to prove a point. Gwen, I love you, and I want to spend the rest of my life with you. You're the only woman in my heart. I just wish that you could see that, and that Teresa is not a threat to us. Listen to me. And there's a tree lighting ceremony tomorrow night. Teresa's gonna be there with the guy she has a crush on. If you go with me to the ceremony, you'll see Teresa and her boyfriend. All right, I'll go. Great. I promise you, after tomorrow night, this whole stupid thing will be done with. <laughs> One way or the other. Gwen, I'm gonna prove to you that you're wrong about Teresa. You have nothing to worry about. I love you. See you soon.